Here's another review problem, chapter 11, problem 13. The situation is we expect to have an 80% chance of getting any particular individual question right on a multiple choice test uh, quiz. Um, oh, it's a quiz. And there's only six questions. Uh, what's the chance of getting all right on this six question quiz? Okay, We're actually going to be able to figure out um, and analytically, sort of exactly what the probability would be here uh, fairly soon. But um, it's nice to know that we can get a, a pretty good approximation just from simulation. Okay, So here I've gone to random.org, which is really handy, and used a random integer generator. You, of course, can use randint on the TI. You could use randint of 0 to 99, and I did 120 digits if you want. Or you can use the book's random number table. Okay. Or I might provide one on a test, a specific random number table. Okay. So I handle I have it in columns of, uh, in uh, six columns, so each and 20 rows. So each row is exactly one test, okay? So, uh, for example on our quiz quiz rather, on quiz 1, um, what's the coding? Well, let's describe the coding here. Coding, if I want to have an 80% chance so 0, 0 to 79 is right, and 80 to, one, uh, 80 to 99 is wrong. And so I want to see on how many of these quizzes do I have no numbers between 80 and 99. Okay, so quiz 1, nope, I did not get them all right because of this 98. Quiz 2, um, nope, the 94. Okay, quiz three, uh, nope, the 90, no way, okay, let's see, uh, quiz four, nope, 99, I'm going to just go until I get one, quiz five, yes, okay, so quiz five, yes, I'm just going to put the yeses from now on, quiz six, no, because of the 87, quiz seven, nope, no, nope, definitely not, quiz eight, nope, Quiz 9, yes. Okay. Now, let's see. Do I get my... Let's see. That's This one's quiz 9, right? Yeah. Quiz 10. Ooh, looks good. Ooh, just barely squeaked by, but yes. Looks like quiz 10. Yes. Okay. Quiz 11. Nope. It's got an 83. Quiz 12. Nope. It's got an 84. Quiz 13, nope, 96. Quiz 14, uh, looks like I squeaked by. Yes. Quiz 15, nope, because of the 85 and 86. Quiz 16, nope. Quiz 17, no. Quiz 18, no. Quiz 19, no. Quiz 20, no. Okay. So. Out of all these 20 trials, 4 out of 20 trials gave all 6 correct answers. Okay, So our prediction is that about 1 out of every 5, uh, or a 20% chance, that we're going to get them all right. Which is kind of di uh, distressing. We had an 80% chance of getting each individual question right. And so it'd be nice to think, hey, it's a pretty good chance maybe that I'm going to get them all right. But you know what? Um, it looks like that's not the case. That it was actually pretty special to not have any of these guys pop into the wrong answer zone, the 80 to 99 zone. Okay. Um, and that's about all you need to do. Um, you need to make sure that you say exactly how you're generating the random numbers, or um, if you had a random number table, you might need to mark kind of explicitly where your trials are. Here I had them in, in nice row and column format. You need to tell me something about your coding, exactly how you're doing it, and sort of here's the show part. Give me the, um, the results of each one and then summarize um, in terms of the answer.